Hey guys, I'm Susie, and today I'm going to teach you how to write an affiliate blog post with the Gutenberg editor within WordPress. And we are actually going to write a blog post on keto snacks. So hubby and I have been on keto for the last month or so. It's awesome. Um, hopefully it's not just a fad diet. Like we really like it and we bought all these snacks. So <laughs> hopefully we can keep eating them. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show you how to create this awesome blog post within the Gutenberg editor. So you don't have to use a page builder and you can still really look professional. I have other videos. If you do have a page builder with um, Elementor and Divi on how to create this blog post, but today we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to use the Gutenberg editor. But first of all, I want to ask you, do you use a page builder? And if so, which one, please leave a comment below so that I know how I can help you in the future. And again, the videos on how to create this blog post in Divi and Elementor are linked below. Okay. So let's get right into this. All right. So if you want to see the end result of how this affiliate blog post looks in Elementor, Divi or the Gutenberg builder, this is what it looks like. All right. So I'll just scroll through it. This is what the blog post, when you try to um, promote more affiliate products, this is what it can look like in Elementor. You can kind of see very beautiful, clean. This is what it looks like in Divi. Beautiful, clean. And this is what you can do with the regular WordPress Gutenberg editor again very simple and clean. We're not trying to do very elaborate blog posts. Um, you can kind of see the difference between what it looks like if you use different page builders. If you do want to see these live, I'll add the links below so you can check out each one of these blog posts and kind of get a feel for them um, as a user. And then if you do need any keto snacks, you can obviously go through my affiliate links. I appreciate it and buy some awesome keto snacks to, um, to live a more low carb lifestyle. Anyway, thank you so much guys. And let's get into the video. All right. So first thing we're going to click on post add new. And as you can see, I do have Elementor page builder and the Divi page builder on here, but I'm just going to use the regular Gutenberg page builder to create this awesome affiliate blog post. All right. And we're going to recreate and use the same format as this affiliate blog post that goes over the best hair dryers for 2020. So you can see title, title, image, button, text, title, image, button, text. All right. So this blog post is doing really well on Google. It's probably getting a lot of affiliate clicks because it has this snippet within Google. If you search for best hair dryers, um, a lot of people are probably clicking on this. We're going to see what's already working on Google and try to follows the same format, but not for hair dryers for keto snacks. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is best keto snacks for 2020. We're going to add our nice title there. We can add some text here. So we can get some Latin somewhere. All right. So we're going to paste some text there. Then the next thing we want to do is actually have that, um, table of contents, which we can add. I just saw that I have an element like that for Gutenberg. I'm going to click on the little plus the table of contents. I'm using the plugin ultimate add on blocks for Gutenberg really helpful. It has a lot of cool little features. So we're going to have that in there. And as we add headers to our blog posts, that will be filled up in our table of contents. Okay. So we're going to add a next header paragraph type in best keto snacks like 20. We're going to convert that to a heading H2, and then we're going to have our first snack that we're going to recommend. And if you guys are anything like me, you love Nutella. So it was kind of hard to give up Nutella when we um, started trying the keto diet, this puree, organic hazelnut spread with cacao is delicious and it's very creamy. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> and it's very creamy and smooth and it just like goes onto your almond toast like heaven. So this is the first one we're going to recommend because it is the most delicious. All right. So we're going to come back here and paste our title and do number one. All right. So if I put one dot, um, puree organic hazelnut spread, it changes it to a list form, um, 
it changes the formatting, so I'm putting the hello hashtag. You could use the ultimate add-on blocks to use an advanced heading, but for now we're just gonna keep it simple and we're gonna use a little hashtag there, okay? So, and we're gonna change this to an H3 heading, so you can see, okay, we have our big heading, our H3, I mean, that was an H2. Now we're gonna add the image and then a button. So we are gonna get our image from Amazon. Again, guys, you can't copy and paste the images from Amazon, you can't screenshot this. Um, Amazon doesn't even own, the, they do not even own these images, um, and it's against their terms and conditions, so you have to use the code, which is beneficial to you too, because then that adds your affiliate link automatically to it, and a lot of people click on images to get back um, to purchase the product, so you wanna do that. So we're gonna add HTML, we're gonna search for that, we're gonna add that there, click on preview, so you can see our little HTML block is there. And I'm just gonna center it with just adding center and brackets around it and with a closed bracket there. All right, preview, we have our um, image. Next thing is a button. So we're gonna, you can either use the fancy buttons in Ultimate Add-ons or we can just use a regular one. So view on Amazon. Make sure to get your link, your affiliate link from Amazon and add that to the button. And we are going to center this. All right. Next thing is some text below our product that we're selling or promoting. I'm just gonna duplicate what we have up here and then drag it down. To where it should be and I'm just going to add some more text so we're not just promoting products we're actually adding some verbiage and helpful tips for people who are finding this blog post so it's not just like oh this is a great chocolate spread use it it's like what does it taste like how does it compare with Nutella do you like it what's your personal experience all that good stuff what are what do other people say about it okay so next thing we want to do let's do one more product we're going to just click on these little three dot buttons, click on duplicate, and then you can either click on the arrows to move it down, or you can just drag it once you find a little spot there. Okay, same thing here. We can just duplicate it if you want to, or we can recreate the entire HTML block. Okay, so our next thing that we wanna recommend is this, the electrolyte powder. I love it. it, gives me tons of energy. I'm drinking it right now to create all these awesome YouTube videos for you guys. Um, zero calories and helps you, especially if you are into intermittent fasting. This stuff is awesome, it tastes just like Gatorade. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our electrolyte keto powder. And there's the orange one, which I should probably try. I have this yellow one, it's really yummy. Ooh, that's a grape one. That'd be yummy. Okay, so first we're gonna get the image. Large, copy the image here. And instead of the hazelnut image, we're just gonna, everything within those two center brackets, we're gonna replace that. So that's our electrolyte one. You can either add a new button or you can just come and duplicate this one. Move it down slowly or drag it. Make sure to update that um, affiliate link where it goes to. You're getting the most bang for your buck. Okay. And we're gonna add some text to it as well and describe why we like this product. All right, so here you can see we have um, our title at the top, a little bit of text, nice little table of contents that's being created as we're writing this. Ooh, we should change this title. See, that's what happens sometimes when you copy and paste things. You sometimes forget to update links or titles. So please make sure if you do copy and paste things to save you time that you're checking all your work. Electro light powder 
or intermittent fasting. Okay. You can see it updates in our cool little cute table of contents. That's awesome. Okay. So also what I saw at the bottom of the blog post that's doing so well for best hair dryers is they have an FAQ section. So how to choose the best hair dryer for 2020, the buying guide. Um, you can have this as well for your product. So again, H2 and H3 headings, and then some helpful text. So this is probably one of the reasons also that contributes to Google giving this blog post so much love is because it's not just, uh, um, advertisement for all these hair dryers or products to buy, it also has helpful information. So at the bottom of yours, I would recommend you do this too. Um, the buyer's guide, let's do a paragraph. Keto snacks 2020, and then you can do the FAQ here. Okay. So that would have and help your blog post. Okay. So obviously don't just have three little letters there, add more like they did here, question and answer stuff. Okay. So that is what this affiliate blog post looks like in Gutenberg. Not pretty cool. Again, guys, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, hit the little thumbs up, the subscribe and the little bell, because I'm releasing videos to help you guys improve your blogs um, and to grow them. So if you um, need anything else, let me know and I'll see you in the next video.